victory with software has been a game changer for future design. So I want to find out from Paul exactly what it's doing to benefit this company. This is something that we talk about so commonly about getting the most out of your machine. And what you can see illustrated here on this PC screen is exactly that. It's all of the machines that are in the company. They've got two units, so they've got Herco's here, Matsura MAM machines. They've also got another unit with Herco's and a Colchester machine. And all of those machines, regardless of their location, are here and hooked up to FactoryWiz. And what this is doing is it's telling the owners of the company how many or the percentage of time the OEE that that spindle is in operation on a daily basis. And it can go to your phone, it can go to your tablets, and you can see around the facility, there's screens everywhere. So really what you're saying is everybody is then working on the same page. And it kind of is identifying any bottlenecks in production, what's going wrong, what's going right, what's working, and the spindle uptime. This is exactly it. And what we've got here is we can see on this um, first dial that they're running an OEE at 39% today. Now, you might look at that and think, well, that's quite low, but actually that's across all of their machines. Yes. Bearing in mind... Without here, automation. Without automation on a lot of them, yeah. Mm. We've got automated Matsura man machines here, and those ones are actually currently running at, in fact, one's running at 100%. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, 100%. The other is running at just 80 at the moment, but they're fluctuating as the day unfolds. What's really interesting here is the Herco machines, labelled H H1 down to H9, are running about 34, 30. One of them is at 95% per, uh, efficiency. And that would be like well. a long running job. But that's because that one's on a long runner. And as the day unfolds, again, that may, that may drop down and others may come up. But what they really look at then is what the overall OEE is at the end of the day and what they've achieved between that period of seven in the morning mm. and five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and there's some really interesting statistics because Simon's been able to work out exactly what is getting out of, say, one machine in comparison to four or five others. This is machine data. It's analyzing. So then, ultimately, what do you do with this data? You can work on areas where you need to improve efficiency. This is what he's got this for. Now, I asked him, I said, what, what were you expecting this dial to be at when you first installed FactoryWiz? And he said, well, to be honest, we were thought it would probably be around this. And it's 40% at the moment, and it was 40% when they first took on Factory Wiz. But I said, okay, so you haven't made gains at the moment. And he said, well, we are, but what we're able to do now is identify where we're gonna make those improvements and make those gains. It might be, as he's correctly or already correctly looked at, that his work holding isn't allowing him to put yes. enough parts on the table. It may be that one of his operators is spending too much time setting a job, therefore he's gonna start using some probing solutions. It might be that he's spending time digging swarf out of the machine to get a better filtration and coolant and swarf system. I think people are getting a better understanding of exactly what is going on within their machine shop. And like he, he said to us um, off camera, you would find out that information when you've completed that job, but now he's doing it at the heart of it when it's happening, and so he knows how to change things. Yep, and this can work in conjunction with their uh, PSL data track quoting software, which means that they're bringing everything um, well, everything together, industry 4.0. It means that they can analyze, uh, you know, infinitely what they're able to achieve out of their machine shop. But probably more importantly, it then allows them to be able to cost jobs accordingly and make sure that, i.e., they're not too uh, high priced to lose an order. But secondly, they're not under quoting, so they, it's going to cost them money. So it's a very, very delicate balance in UK manufacturing environment to make sure you're getting oh, you are, as this says, efficient. And previously, the human brain would have to be doing that. You'd have to have someone looking at this, someone looking at that. It would be impossible. It would be absolutely impossible. You just cannot do what this software does. And the beauty of the FactoryWiz platform is this can be um, hooked up to any machine. So we've talked about Herco's, we've talked about Matsura's, we've talked about Colchester's. It doesn't matter what machine you've got, a turning center, a multitasking machine a general straightforward vertical machining centre, all of them can be uh, equipped with Factory Wiz and then all collectively put together you can identify your overall machine shop's efficiency. What might happen here is they might replace their VMCs with more of these Matsuras if they see that the, uh, the efficiency is far greater on a Matsura. 
it may be the reverse. It really depends on what the software spits out. Exactly. And it's just, it's fascinating to know that actually any machine shop, any, can have this within their facility. So all in all, Paul, to, to kind of paraphrase, who is Factory is aimed at? So Factory Wiz is aimed at and should be aimed at every single company that runs a machine tool. I look at this and I think, I don't know how you can operate a machine shop without knowing this. No. This Because how do you make your next move? What, what, what do you buy next? You know, what improvements do you make? I mean, you, how can you assess that without spitting out data like this? So to me, it's intrinsic in the manufacturing process. It's a must. You have to have it.